Meanwhile, the understates government in conjunction with Malaria Consortium Group is set to distribute no fewer than 3 million mosquito nets to the people of the state. The aims was made in Accra, the understates capital, yesterday during media orientation on insecticide treated nets campaign at the ministry boardroom. The aim was said to be a way of eradicating malaria completely from the state. Who was at the venue reports. Media professionals have been urged to be advocates of voiceless in saving lives through proper information dissemination to the masses. The charge was made on Tuesday by the Permanent Secretary of the State Ministry of Health, Mrs. Folu Kemi Aladinola, during media orientation on the certified treated net ITN in Akure, the Ondo State Capital, where she said that over 3 million treated mosquito nets are ready to be distributed free of charge to the people across the 18 local government area of the state. Mrs. Aladinola said similar incident happened last in the state in the year 2017, which all efforts should be on deck to embrace the new gesture. The state government, the Malaria Consortium, the Federal Minister of Health uh, through NMEP, we are all collaborating to make sure we distribute over 3 million nets across households in the United States. Uh, yes. These help us spread the message. When they come, because they will do some caption, a data caption before this uh, next they are not tax people because when you see anybody coming to the house or to, you know, to ask questions, when you see their bags, the first thing that comes to mind is, oh, they want to collect them. You understand this, uh, the, what we know, that's the, the experience that we have at the time. But please help us spread the message, this good message. This time around, nobody is coming to your house to collect money. Also speaking at the media orientation on insecticide treated net, Mrs. Adaisi Adenagmo, a representative of Malaria Consortium, urged that the traditional rulers from all the local governments across the state will also help in the awareness. We will also be engaging the traditional institution to further help us emphasize the correct use of the net. We have had previous experiences in other states where some of the traditional rulers were unable to enforce compliance of the community members by, uh, by uh, recommending those that misused the net. Some of them were asked to pay fine, and with that, we had full compliance of the correct use of the net. From Akure, Timmy Topaya, did you reporting for Captain TV News?